She's got like a treasure map on her stomach. <laughs> now I wonder did she put that map if she was to look down herself she could read it or is it better if somebody else is reading it? You know what I'm saying? Is it upside down for her or? <laughs> Hey everyone, so the guys over there at Illusion Connect were nice enough to give me early access to the game here. So uh, I'm, we're going to be going through, showing you a little bit of the uh, modes, kind of what the game's all about briefly, and then we're going to be doing some summons. So if you like what you see, I'm going to have a link in the description below. It is currently in pre-registration if I haven't taken too long to get this video out. Uh, but that link will be in there, so I highly encourage you guys to go check it out because uh, I'll tell I'll let you know right now that I do really enjoy the game. So first, let's talk about a little bit about what the game's about, what you can expect, what type of game it is, and then we're going to do lots of summons. So let's get into this. So the combat has kind of got like this grid system here where you can place your units in wherever you want to go and they'll do an initial attack depending on what type of attack they have. There's lots of different types of units. There's like defense, assassins, like wizards. And the kind of the objective is to kind of kill the leader or you lose if your leader dies. Your leader can also attack and have abilities as well. And you can different type of leaders. Some of my favorite type of units are like summoning units. So uh, what you do is like play a summoning unit like so when she dies then she'll spawn three units and then I like to play characters that resurrect that character and then when she dies again she summons even more. So there's like a lot of different things that you could do. There's rush characters like tanks, there's like CC characters, there's healers of course, There's, but they're pretty dynamic and they're very unique to each other and uh, I was just having a lot of fun making my deck. So you also have limited mana resource, so you kind of have to play wisely in what your uh, next move is going to be. So I thought the gameplay was actually pretty dynamic. Now I, I actually really enjoyed the story mode in this game. There's some funny moments, uh, there's some choices to be made uh, during the dialogue. I think the most that I've seen it do is kind of uh, increase what character likes you more. There's also this house here, you kind of like decorate it, put items in, and it's where your characters can kind of hang out. Uh, but it's more than just aesthetics, but you can uh, get like more EXP, currency, gold, and also like increase how many members you can have in your deck. So it's uh, also functionality. There's also arenas, lots of different arena modes, trials. There's going to be uh, events that they have, also lots of different summoning events. You can see here there's going to be bonus characters that you want to bring in that will get you, uh, you know, extra bonuses. Overall, I'm enjoying the game a lot. Now the art in the, in the combat is chibi and that's not my absolute favorite, but uh, the character art is fantastic. and. But, you know, the gameplay I thought was really fun, so I kind of was able to look past it pretty easily. So, uh, now that we've kind of done a really brief overview, there's more to it than that, but uh, I just did some of the, the basics there. So, now that we've covered that, let's do some summoning here. Alright, so uh, we got some uh, 10 summon ticket in this tutorial, so let's see what we get here. Oh, there we go. We'll have to- ooh, that looks good. Oh, I can't tell what's going on. I can't tell if this is good or bad. Okay, that looks good. The more it wiggles and pulses, I feel the better it is. But I just got a rare. <laughs> okay. Okay, another rare. She looks cool, at least. She costs 13. She's a mage type. What is she... ...sitting on? Man, they say a lot for how much is translated there at the bottom. It's a cultural thing. Oh, a healer! Hello, you're pretty and sexy. Probably is here. <laughs> I will take care of you. Just keep going. Okay. Good for us. Just... What does that mean then? What is that symbol? I wonder, like a thief maybe? She's chilling in a chair. That's pretty cool. Oh! 
That's a cool looking sword. Definitely gonna put her on the team because she's only cost 10. That's relatively cheap, I think. Oh, Alice! Oh, I haven't even been paying attention to the names. I only looked at the name whenever I realized that that's straight up Alice, or supposed to be. Okay. Oh, Polly again. Okay. Ooh, she looks cool. Ray again. Okay, so I got some duplicates. Got an SSR and an SR. Very cool. Now, I don't have too many tickets. Um, I got this one single ticket here that I could use. Um, I guess I'll use it here. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get anything good. Okay, so it's just a. I have some of her already, so I'm gonna get more shards for her. So, not ideal, but I have uh, some tickets that I get for her. So, this girl right here, she's kind of like a rush character that kind of attacks the enemy leader. So, if you kill the leader, you win. Um, so, I think that could be a pretty valid strategy. I generally like to control boards and stuff whenever I play games like this or card games where I'm just like play beefy dudes that are kind of stay on the board and kill off their guys in order to con like contain board control but it might be fun to have like a little rush down attacky character too so we're gonna spend our tickets that we got I think we got these for free Let's see what happens here I'm still learning what all the different like animations mean Oh, cool. She's got like a sarcophagus on her back. That's neat. We've gotten her before. Penny. I like that she's got like a shotgun on her backpack. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting. The Mad Hatter is like a rabbit. Interesting. She looks pretty cool. What is that, like a big cannon? Her on the chair. Got more of her. Got a few duplicates. So I got two SRs, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna play around with some of these uh, summonings here. I don't think I could... Yeah, I think you need to get those tickets specifically. I think you could buy them at the shop, but I want to see... Like this, for instance, want to see how this works. Okay, so... Okay, so 1,880 for 10 tickets. So let's just see how that goes. And I don't think I saw, like, a pity system at all. Oh, she looks cool. She's got a cat. Pretty cool looking. We got her already. Got more Mad Hatter, so that means I got uh, some shards for her. Whoa! She looks cool! She's got like a cool hat. I wonder if her abilities are good. More Alice. Ooh, I got a lot of SRs on this one. No SSRs though. Lots of Penny. There's Mary again. That was a pretty good pull. Let's just keep going for the fun of it here. See how we do. See if we can get some cool characters. That looks good. Oh, that looks really good. Mary. I've not learned, uh... The significance of... Hey, but we got SSR, though. That's one of the characters. Ooh, she's a healer. Good. Diana. Very cool. Very cool. It's her weird, like, space shield thing. Hey, at least we got an SSR, though. We'll keep going here. 
Just have a big old summon summon fest. Let's see. Oh, we've got a new guy. Man, his swords look awesome. There's dudes in the game. <laughs> Just not many. Oh cool, I got more flora. Maybe I can raise up her star level. I think that character's kinda cool actually. Uh whenever she takes damage, she or whenever she dies, I'm sorry, she splits into multiple things. But what's cool is if you have a character that can res her, you can then res that character and you still have the two split dudes out there. Um that's from what I saw. That was pretty cool. Little little tech. So I do have a character that can res. Oh, there we go. Mary, lots of Mary. Polly, I thought Polly was actually pretty good for like our character. Hey, we got her. It seems like the rates aren't too bad in this, honestly. So maybe they don't really need a pity system. It's possible that I'm just getting really lucky or they raise the rates during like early access, but I, only, I haven't tried that many times, and I got both of them. But again, very possible that I just got lucky. I wonder if these characters in this banner, if you get an SSR, if it's guaranteed to be one of them. It says the selected partner summon rate up. So I would assume that, that means that it's not guaranteed if you get an SSR, it's going to be them. But, uh, I mean, we got both of them back to back that seems kind of unlikely if that is not the case let's try a little more just to see what happens it's science time okay i've never had Anne before oh she's a summoning person i think Cool. She's got like Ariel and some kind of princess. I wonder what she does. I like the summoning type characters. Generally not the best. Oh, there's her too. I wanted to see what she did too. She looks cool. Okay, so we got two uh, SRs. One and being new. Let's do it a couple more times. Maybe till we get an SR or SSR I mean. Just to see if we happen to get the same character. Um, but although that means that whoa, that was like a lot of color. <laughs> she looks cool. Another healer. I doubt I will need another healer. Although I could just have like a big old team of healers. <laughs> just never die. Just chip away at him possible in doing this I could have some pretty buff uh, SR characters. Oh she's new I think. She is a like dark type class. Very cool. I like the glow that they put on these SR characters. Okay but still no SSR. So we're gonna keep going. But not if it takes too long. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, just just if I do happen to get the same SSR this time, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a guaranteed for them. I just, you know, I'm just kind of curious. It'd be interesting to see if I uh, if I do get somebody different. Oh, so I see, I did get her again. So if if it's not guaranteed to get that character on the banner, the SSR is a really high chance. It seems versus the other SSRs of this banner. It's either that or I'm getting crazy lucky. So it's possible that you don't need a pity system in this from what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm so used to playing games that have fairly poor rates or often in games I should say there's like poor rates and so you need a pity system so you want to save up to know at least you'd get to that but uh, these rates don't seem too bad. You know, I do have a lot of diamonds, so um, 
that you know take that with a grain of salt let's try some of these uh this regular one here see how the rates are on this just have a big old summon off he looks cool so we're getting a lot of the same characters that's okay um but we're kind of digging in for it whoa She's got cuts all over her, poor thing. Maybe she's messed up practicing with that big old knife in that string over there. Oh, looks like they got the same voice. Some of them have the same voice actress. I haven't even been paying attention to that. Oh, we got her again. Okay, we're getting lots of cool characters though. This is fun. Someone more him. See if the rates like are on like the regular old banner. This is probably not the best way to spend these. <laughs> but we're doing it for science, okay? I wanna see what the rates are like. Oh! Got one right off the bat. First character in this temple. So she is like the mage class. Dang she costs twenty. She must be really good. Hmm. Oh, she's new. Is she like a little dog? Little dog girl? Ninja dog girl. I feel like I've seen that in quite a few games. Like, little girl ninja dog. That's a weird, that's a weird like thing they see reoccurring. <laughs> hey, Jasmine. I got her for free just going through the mission. I think she's actually pretty decent. But I'm probably going to have to replace her with my new SSR healer. But pretty cool. I got another SSR. I have to put her on the squad see what she's all about. A three star. We'll keep going here. Polly. I think she's good too. Uh, I've been using her. She was one of the first SRs I got. Um, she's you know, a little tanky and she's got like a, a attack that deals like a horizontal row damage. You know, decent. But you know, I haven't experienced all these different SSRs yet so she might be trash in comparison. Doesn't seem to be quite as tanky as some of the tanks could be. What is this like our fourth one for here? We got one SSR so far. So I guess this means no SSR, right? SR. It'll be interesting to go through these characters and see what they're all about. Oh, she's new. Oh, she's a tank. She's got like a treasure map on her stomach. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. Now I wonder did she put that map like if she was to look down herself she could read it or is it better if somebody else is reading it? You know what I'm saying? Is it upside down for her? Or <laughs> I've never thought of putting a treasure map on my stomach. You know, things to think about whenever you see it. Let's keep going. Okay, so I think we're just like the three big pulses like that. You're looking for a fourth one. Hey, she's new. Tiffany. An SS or SR. I just want her to be an SSR because I keep <laughs> I keep saying SSR. I think. Pretty cool. Oh, we got one of her before. Gigi. Uh, the game seems to be fairly, um, fairly generous with the SRs at least. Now I'm not sure how viable the SRs are late game. I have no idea. See, that's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna get an SSR, it seems. Oh, she's new. She looks cool. I like her, like, ogre masks and their sword. 
pretty cool. Whoa! Cool. Man, that's awesome. He looks cool. And I'm going to be needing a good SSR tank, I'm sure. So that is exciting stuff. So we got an SSR. So we got two new characters right there. What a good pull that was. Let's just keep going. You know? It'd be fun. It's gonna be the regular old, um, no SSRs, but that doesn't mean there couldn't be a cool SR in here. So we got Mad Hatter. I don't know if he's that good, but he certainly can help fill the board and his hats can maybe help tank a slash or two. But it doesn't seem to do that much damage. See who else we can get here. Just blow it all. Spend it all! Let's see, uh, we're not gonna get any SSRs, but that's okay. Building up Flora there. One of my favorite units so far. Especially out of the SRs. There we go. That's what you want to see. Yuffie! Very cool. I'm gonna have to go through all these SR SSRs and see which ones I think are the best. Out of their descriptions at least. Very cool. Got a new- Whoa! Hey! Got more Deanna! We're gonna have a buff healer, boy. That's our third one, I think. Wow, two SSRs, huh? Pretty lucky. That's a good pull right there, boy. Very cool. Let's keep going. Go for broke. That's what it means. That's what that term means. Go for broke. It's for gotcha games. Keep going until you're broke. There's no skip all, is there? Oh, whoops. Got our... SRs. I think those are both cool SRs. Keep going, keep summoning. Darn. Although it's not like I can use all the SSRs anyways, but it is fun to get them. Now that I have so many gems, but I'm getting lower. But we can still do quite a few summonings here. Gotta had to readjust my chair. Get more comfortable for all these characters I'm about to get. I wonder how, uh, how high I can raise these characters for getting so many duplicates. And how many stars that I could actually, uh, increase them, you know? Now what you're looking for! You always at least get, uh, I think... She was really good. She's probably one of my favorite SRs, or probably one of the better ones I've used so far, which isn't many. But she can literally resurrect a character when she's played, so I thought that was really good. So you can like, res your tank that has a big shield whenever they're played, or like I said mentioned before, you can play her on like a character that does something on death and then they can come back and then they can do it again. It's pretty pretty cool little mechanic there uh, for a game like this. There she is again. 
Mad Hatter. Not too, too, too many characters of the lower rarities. I think we're getting, I wonder if we're close to getting all the like SRs. Probably not. <laughs> there we go. That's what you want to see. So that shouldn't mean we get an SSR. Hey, she looks cool. And she's a summoning character. Ooh, my favorite type for some reason. <laughs> it's got one red strand of red hair. Pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. I have to check out all these characters, but especially her because I like uh, summoning characters so much. Oh, not good. Oh wait, it tricked me. It is good. So we did get an SSR. Who'd we get though? Holy smokes, that is some spiky claws. <laughs> Dang, girl. That's crazy. Wait, I'm Lisa. I have answered your summon. My blade will crush all obstacles for you. I hope you will ha find my service satisfactory. But girl says your name right here is Hersey. But you're saying you're Lisa. I don't know who- Somebody's lying. <laughs> but man, that's exciting. She looks cool. She looks like she'll probably be a really good DPS. I don't think I can afford anymore. Yeah, I'm a little short. That's okay. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since that little last clip that you saw of me summoning here. Uh, but there's some new banners. It's, it's taking me a little while to get the video out. I've been quite busy with life, but uh, I'm excited to get this out. But check out this character. Uh, this is one that you get with like these special tickets. I think I can get them at the store, so I may do that. But man, she looks awesome. And she can revive people when she comes out. Uh, she has like a 65 damage reduction skill somewhere and taunt. That's really good. Um, some other attacks and I think a way to make a barrier for herself. This character seems a really good uh, tank unit. Here is another one here we might pull for. We have uh, Yuffie here but we don't have her, Vivian, but I've seen her on some of the title screens. She looks pretty cool. I think she's the one with the playing with the cards. Uh, let's see, we got this one here. This has stuff to do with the guild. I have not been active with my guild. Shame on me. <laughs> And then this is the regular banner, so I'm gonna see if I can go into the shop and try to get some of these tickets with all these uh, gems that I've acquired. Let's see. Okay. So I can, uh, looks like there's a couple that I can get here for free. And then I'm just gonna blow all of my, my gems on this. I can get 68 of these, so I'll buy this. So, I should have around 70 of these tickets total, if I understand this correctly. Okay, so we're gonna go for this and see if we can get her. Because she looks amazing. I wanna try her out. Now, my team's been pretty buff so far. Uh, with all those SRs you're watching me get. She's really cool. One of the cooler artworks, just because of the, the feathers back there. Penny. Tiffany is cool. Alice. Polly. Very cool. Do we have her? Yeah, yeah, we have her. We have her. I just haven't used her. So lots of SRs, but no SSR. Come on, girl. Come on, Angela. You know you want to. Okay, we're still going. So this will be an SSR, I believe. Chill in the chair. Alice, K. Okay. Nice! That was quick! <laughs> oh, dude, I'm excited to use her. 
Not only does she look cool, look at that sword! Uh, but man, she... Uh, her skills are amazing too. I have used characters that I didn't think look cool just because uh, their skills are good, but it's always a bonus whenever you like the character looks really cool and you like how they play. Um, always a bonus. We're just gonna keep going with this because you know I bought all those tickets. Would have been smarter if I did it a little bit at a time, but that would have been pretty inconvenient for to keep going back and forth. <laughs> Oh, she's new! Girl, she was like, all tangled in that chain. <laughs> she is still talking. Goodness. But man, yeah, she is all wrapped up. That would bother the heck out of me. Look, it's like wrapped around her foot and everything. She's just like stuck. I think she's trying to play it off like she meant to do this. But she's like, oh my god, I wish somebody would help <laughs> tangle me. <laughs> Oh man. Anne seems cool. I'd definitely be taking more of a look at Anne if I didn't have all these SSRs. We still got quite a few of these, so hopefully we can get duplicates of Angela so we can buff her up a bit, you know? Because I think she's amazing. Just like reading it on paper. I don't think there's a way to skip these real quick either. But apparently there's still some SRs that I don't have. Because I, I didn't see that one, like, nun chick before. This is a good experiment to see how likely it is to get this character too. So we have 70 tries and we got her once. Okay, here we go again. And we'll see if it's guaranteed to get her every SSR. You know, it's a little bit anecdotal evidence, but you know, it's something. Okay, so it seems like if you're gonna get SSR, you're probably gonna get her in this banner. It's cool, so we got her again. Very cool. That's a good pull, too. Two more. So out of 70, so far we have gotten two. You gotta hear advertisement. Or not advertisement, but, you know, notification. Dang. Three oh, yeah, SRs, huh? Cool, cool. I really like the character designs in this, for the most part. There's only a few that I'm like, eh, I don't care, but... Especially the SRs are generally pretty cool. Here we go. I think that's something. Oh! Okay, so it's not a guarantee that you're gonna get her every time it happens. But I don't think I have this chick. Very cool. I don't think I have her. Oh, that's awesome. She was uh, one of the characters in uh, this guild one that I have no currency for, so that's convenient. Uh, so, got a couple of her. That's awesome. I can't wait to power her up. But for now, let's see. I also have quite a bit of these seed badges, so I'll do that too. Um, let's do this, because I don't have her. I think that'll be cool. So it's, okay, I can do a couple of these. I don't remember the last time I've summoned so much. I think it was King of Fighters All Stars. So that was a while ago. I don't. I'm out of. I was out of rubies for a long time in that game. Oh, hey, it's our girl, man! I can have a buff version of her. I've had several copies. Always happy to get an SSR. Let's see if it's uh, the only one that we get. Yep. All oh, the rest were rare, not even SR, so this uh, must have been our, our rare one. Well, that's cool. Got a duplicate of her. I'm gonna have a buff healer. I think her skills are like okay. That healer, honestly, that uh, the, S, uh, uh, the SSR healer I have. But I mean, her stats are gonna be good. Now, I think. I don't think I'm getting an SSR in this. Nope. 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 That girl reminds me of Zatanna. 
Um, okay, so we use that. I mean, we can use a single one. I'm sure, we should just use <laughs> Whatever. For the video! Alright. So... Uh, let's just use all of our currencies so I can show you guys. This is 3,000, so I can do this a couple times. See what this is all about. Okay, so this, you can get gear and no, yeah, gear and stuff. I, I see, okay. That's what this one's all about. This could be helpful. Ooh, SSR gear nightmare robe. Okay. So, uh, gear is pretty important in this game. And I was curious how I was going to get different gear other than doing uh, the story. But here's another way to do it with this, like, gotcha here. Oh, cool. It's got, like, good stats on it. Got a decent ability. Very cool. Okay. Well, I'm learning stuff new even still. Okay. And I think that's it, right? That's it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Alright. So, he's got the character that also, when it dies... So this character, when it dies, it makes shadows of itself. It's really cool. Uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. I think it's pretty good. I wouldn't be, uh, you know, posting about it if I didn't think it was fun. I probably just wouldn't make a video at all. But I think the combat system is deeper as you go along. And uh, the story is actually pretty fun. The characters are fun. It's fun to build your deck and your strategies. So, this is going to be my big AoE attack. That chick that attacks a second ago, she buffs like all AoE damage, so it's really good. Uh, oh, there's our girl! Bringing people back! So, I think she brought back our summoning chick when she dies, she summons things. So, she'll be able to die and then summon more things again, so it's going to get nuts. That's our girl that does multiple damage there. And has a chance to stun, so we'll pass this easy. This chick just does all boo. <laughs> she has more damage for how many people are on the screen. It's freaking nuts. Or enemies. So that is my squad so far. So lots of SSRs. I just realized she's riding on a like fiery sword. But anyways, that is Illusion Connect. I had a lot of fun with this, like I was saying. Uh, so I suggest that you check it out. Take a look at that link down below if you wanted to pre-register. Remember, this is just a test version of the game, so it's not even complete yet. But I think it's uh, shaping up pretty decent so far. The chibi art style isn't my absolute favorite, but the 2D art is really good. I get why they do that. It saves them time and money, um, and they can make more content that way instead of putting so much effort and money into making like a full-fledged model for something they could make the money go farther and add more characters if you make it chibi i get it but thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it if you like comment and subscribe god bless you guys and you have a blessed day y'all